Let's talk about uh, safely removing those sharp edges. Um, every one of your pieces, I don't, I don't care how you cut it. it, even though it has a rolled over edge, such as this one that I cut in the paper cutter, it's still going to have a really sharp edge. Very important that you always make sure that you file and sand these edges so that they're safe to wear for you or for other people. So what I have here is an assortment of tools that I use. In addition, I also use a rotary tool, which is called a Mafort and Flex Shaft, which I have a barrel sander on it. But these are basic tools that anybody can work with. So I'm going to show you how to use these with the basic tools. This right here is just a file that you can get at the um, local hardware store. And then I have some smaller files or escapement files um, over here. And then I have a, a, just a fingernail file here. And this, I, what I've done is I've taken a popsicle stick or a tongue depressor and um, I've just wrapped some uh, sandpaper around it using some painter's tape or regular tape is fine too. And as you use it, you can just tear away the, um, the, the, the next layer. So I just kind of wrap that around. So those are the ways that you, those are the tools that you can use. Now, if all you had was this, you can make this work. Okay. You would just take your fingernail file. Of course, see, I notice I'm wearing my um, safety gloves, my no cut gloves, because um, this, these are just such sharp edges and you could go around and you could do it like this. Now, since I don't know where these tins have been, what I want to do is I want to be sure that I wear a mask while I'm doing this. And I find that um, doing that, it, it just protects my airway. Uh, some of these tins have a little bit of rust. As a matter of fact, this tin had an awful lot of rust to it. Let me see if I can find some of it. Um, actually, no, I don't see any of it, but um, it this one did have a lot of rust on it. So I could just take my fingernail file and I'm just going along those edges and just knocking those up. When I'm done doing that all the way around the piece, um, and make sure you get into those corners, definitely getting into those corners. When I do that long way, then I come back and perpendicular, and then the perpendicular fraction, I just go ahead and I stand back and forth like that. I'm just knocking off those edges, making sure that those aren't gonna be sharp anymore. So I'm standing both ways, I'm standing it longitudinally, and then I'm going perpendicularly. So I want to just make sure those are fine. Now, if um, I want to take off a little extra, I can use the file. And I really, because I'm a jeweler, I do like to use this file. And um, I am going to just come along the edge and that really, really knocks that down. And you can also really do a good job of shaping that too. So that's with this this big file here. Now, for the corners, what I would do is I would come up and I would just go ahead and just give it as best as I could here. Now, you know, even though you're using the file, uh, you would still wanna sand it. So I'm coming around, up and over. And if you notice, I really struggled getting into that uh, middle part of the heart. So that's where these escapement files come in. They're very fine, very fine, very thin. They really will get into these really uh, tight nooks and crannies so that we can go ahead and we can get those taken care of there. So there you go. The other thing these are good for, this is a, a half round. I can take this and like if there's a, a tight round area, like, um, okay, well here, here's a good example. If it, there's a tight round area, then I can come in with my file at that tight round area. Like this piece here, I could just come in and I could just stand here in that really tight, or file in that really tight area. So that's what these are really good for. So once I'm done filing, I go back to my sanding 
and I go ahead and I sand it. Now, if you notice that this piece right here has a little bit of a sharp edge, I really don't wanna play with it. I wanna kind of dull that down a little bit. Sometimes I'll even make it uh, blunt because I don't want anyone hurting themselves. And also, if you're gonna dangle something from that, you want that to be a little bit cut off because otherwise your hole punch is not going to work really well in there because it's so pointy and you don't have enough space, enough room. And here I'll just real quick show you here with this file that I created using sandpaper, same thing. This should be good and ready to go by the time we're done. Once those edges are all filed off, then I can take off my gloves and I can test them and just see how they feel. These feel really good. Yeah, this feels really good. Nobody's gonna get cut with that. So you are all set with that piece right there.